Hi, I'm Ian from IW Dental. Uh, we're based in the southwest of the UK. We're a full service dental laboratory with approximately 12 staff. Um, and I'd like to talk you through the journey of us incorporating digital dentistry in the laboratory. I think CAD CAM is probably the best opportunity we've had as dental technicians over the last 25 years. We're already using scanners and outsourcing our material to milling centres, but cost was always an issue with the milling centres, and when we saw the DWX50 we realised that bringing the milling in-house was going to reduce our costs and give us control, consistency and accuracy. Uh, initially when we purchased the machine we gave ourselves six months to get over the learning curves of the machine um, and incorporate it into the workflow but we found that within two weeks we were up and running and using it on a regular basis and as we stand now the laboratory couldn't function without it. To be honest, since the machine started running after the initial two-week period, we've never had any issues with it at all, and it's just run like clockwork. It took us a little while to get the workflow correct in the laboratory. When the impressions come into the laboratory, they spend one day in the plaster room, having the models poured. The second day, they are dye trimmed, scanned, and the wax is milled. The work, once it's invested, is put in the furnace overnight, and it's cast first thing in the morning and then it is worked off in the morning giving us a two and a half day turnaround on the product getting ready to have the porcelain put on it. Well, we can get just under 40 units on a wax disc at a time but quite often we'll put one disc on to mill during the day possibly with zirconia in the afternoon and then we'll put another disc on to mill overnight when we leave the laboratory. Nothing's changed in the plaster room at all. The work's done exactly the same way it always has been. Obviously, we've had to incorporate time into the cycle to scan. We scan six units at a time on the scanner, um, allowing us to keep up with production and keep the volume of units going through to be put onto the machine. We found that the most useful time's overnight when there's nobody in the laboratory and we can leave the machine to run overnight. Uh, meaning that the work's ready for the technicians when they come in in the morning. And because of the accuracy of the machine, it means that there's very little to do once the technicians come in and sit down with their work in the morning. The wax is cut off the wax blocks and fitted down individually to the dies just to be checked and made sure in wax that there's nothing that we need to add and then it's invested to be cast. Uh, this means that once the metal works divested, and ready to be finished, there's very little finishing to be done. By utilising the Roland milling machine in our daily workflow, it's allowed me as a laboratory owner to free up two extra people in the laboratory who have gone on to do porcelain work, and it's allowed the two people that are now concentrating on the metalwork scanning and milling to have a lot less labour intensive day than they had initially and they're still providing the work for six people. It has increased the, the amount that we can get through and it's also increased the quality because the old scenario of having a lab that was a busy lab taking in a lot of work was that the quality slipped and by utilising the milling and the milling machine the quality doesn't slip, it mills exactly the same every time and produces a fantastic product. We've had a lot of good comments from our client. We didn't initially advertise the fact that we were going to be milling in the laboratory, um, but we noticed from our clients responding, saying that the fit was so good on the work, that it was so consistent, and that they were finding that everything was just dropping into place. But now we openly advertise to our clients that we are using the digital processes for majority of our work, and it's providing a good quality product, and they can see it as well as us in the laboratory. It's also made our lives as technicians a lot better and a lot easier without being so labour intensive and under so much pressure in the laboratory. I would say that acquiring the DWX50 is probably the single best investment I've ever made in this laboratory and the future of digital dentistry 
is the only way forward for us as a lab and should be for all dental laboratories. I don't know how people can ignore it at this stage because it's definitely the way forward.